Welcome Illumineers! Disney Lorcana's fifth set, Shimmering Skies, is just around the corner. When Shimmering Skies releases, it'll have been a full year since Disney Lorcana's initial release of the first chapter, which is crazy! A lot has happened between now and then, and I've played more games than I can count at this point, but I'm learning that there are some inevitable, unavoidable, natural phenomena when it comes to Disney Lorcana. Whether it's a goat bounce from your opponent to take the game, queen into shift queen, sing whole new world on turn two, or Bucky Diablo, there seems to be a few lines of play the opponent always has when you don't want them to. The longest standing and maybe most universal Lorcana law of nature is one I just can't seem to get over and well let me just show you. Man, I'm so close to winning this game. I'm at 16 lore, all I need to do is play out these characters and survive until the next turn. It's risky, but I've got to play to win and not play scared. Alright, I'm gonna play out this Lilo and Maleficent for two ink and pass. Wow, four lore in a single turn? He's gonna win next turn if I can't stop him. I've got seven ink, no cards in hand. I just need to find an out. All right, I'm gonna ready, set, and draw. We never didn't have it. Ooh. We see scenarios like this all the time. Have you ever been in a position where you were gonna win the game on the very next turn? But your opponent top decks that be prepared exactly when they need it. They wipe your board and you don't have anything to follow it up with. Or maybe it was a grab your sword that they found just in time. No matter the case, I'm sure you can relate to the travesty that is having your board wiped and not having any cards to play on the next turn. That's why the Bucket Hat Brigade has been doing a little bit of research, trying to find out if there's a way that we could be slightly more prepared for scenarios like these. Where do we look when we want to learn? Well, books are a great place to start, and lucky for us, Beasts and Bell have a library of books available for us to borrow. The library, A Gift for Bell, is an inkable three-cost location card in Amethyst with a move cost of one, eight willpower, and one lore. It has the ability Lost in a Book, which says whenever a character is banished while here, you may draw a card. Turns out, a better way to be prepared starts with some studying beforehand. Before I get too deep into the playability of this card, I want to shout out Roberto Gato for the amazing art on this card depicting the library that Beast gifts spell in the original film. There's lots of detail and color to match the amethyst aesthetic and it's just beautiful. This location checks a lot of boxes in my opinion being inkable, having a cheap move cost, high willpower for three ink, and one lore. The first thing I thought of were cards like Trinobog's Followers and Magic Broom that already want to banish themselves to draw a card. Move them here first, so now you're drawing double the cards. If you want to be prepared for a board wipe, move all your characters to the library before you expect it to happen, especially when we already have strong locations like the Queen's Castle. But overall, I'm excited for this card and excited to know what you think. Are there any ideas or combos with this card that pique your interest? Let me know in the comments below. I've got to give a huge thanks and shout out to Robinsburger North America for giving me this card reveal. It's always a pleasure and I never take it for granted. If you want to see more Disney lore kind of content, including videos about the upcoming set Shimmering Skies, be sure to subscribe to the channel because I'm very excited for it. Most importantly, don't forget to take care of yourself. My name is Brandon, also known as B Squared. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.